Over the past 24 hours, the AFU continued to attempt offensive actions in Zaporizhia, South Donetsk and Donetsk directions. The most active actions took place in Zaporizhia direction, said Lieutenant General Igor Konoshenkov, the Russian Federation Defense Ministry spokesman. The enemy with up to three battalion tactical groups, reinforced with tanks and armored fighting vehicles, under a smoke cover made unsuccessful offensive attempts in several waves close to Novopokrovka, Novodanilovka and Malaya Tokmichka, Zaporizhia region. The competent and decisive actions of the Vostok group of forces, aviation and artillery have repelled all the enemy attacks. In addition, as a result of a complex shelling of four AFU reserves convoys near Malaya Tokmichka, Zaporizhia region, nine tanks, 10 infantry fighting vehicles and up to 10 other armored fighting vehicles have been destroyed. In Zaporizhia direction, the enemy losses were over 200 Ukrainian servicemen, 33 tanks, 30 infantry fighting vehicles and 35 armored fighting vehicles. Other side from Kyiv, the armed forces of Ukraine in an official statement June 19 said Russia lost 630 servicemen in a single day, including five tanks, six armored fighting vehicles as well as 18 artillery units and 12 drones. In total, Moscow have been losing 220,450 servicemen since their launching full-scale aggression into Ukrainian territories. Russia and Ukraine conflict has been lasting for 481 days. There is still no peace settlement between two sides. President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky denied that Kiev lost American-made Patriot air defense system. No matter who in Russia says that our Patriots have been destroyed, they're still here, they're working, all of them are shooting down Russian missiles. As efficiently as possible, not a single Patriot has been destroyed, Zelensky said in his daily video update. Terima kasih sudah nonton. Jangan lupa like. Subscribe dan share ya!